Blue zones are places around the world where people outlive typical life expectancy, consistently reaching 100 years old. Out of the five blue zones on Earth, four are in places which you'd probably expect. Greece, Japan, Sardinia, Costa Rica. But the fifth one is actually in America. Loma Linda, a place where your midlife crisis doesn't hit till your 70s. Apparently there are like 100 year olds just walking around in there. Heck, maybe even running around. Um, and they probably have better knees than me and cardio, but probably not bench press. But let's go investigate. I'm not sure if this place is gonna feel like a mythical land or a time capsule. And hopefully, us being here with the camera and stuff, doing like the social media thing is not gonna be like witchcraft to the locals, but who knows? I don't know, I'm excited. There's not a lot going on here so far. Within a minute of entering Loma Linda, the vibe was completely different. Quiet with not much going on. It feels like a town in Pokemon where the hospital is seemingly the biggest attraction, which is how we ended up at this cafe for breakfast. Right away I'm noticing the menu, it's vegetarian with vegan options and there's no coffee on the menu. I'm questioning how much longer I've left to live, but holy, that is bizarre. It's a cafe with no coffee. It's literally all vegan and vegetarian. You can grab your tea packet from right over there. Okay. Oh my goodness, this is so weird for me. I have never tasted jasmine. This is, this is new for me. It's crazy to me that people see coffee as a drug. I see it as a vitamin, like what the? It feels like I'm getting a hug from a stranger. So we've got our breakfast burrito here. Not the biggest burrito. A regrettable feature of Blue Zones is that they have a moderate caloric intake, so the portion sizes aren't really that big. Like this is like a baby at Chipotle. This is like a preemie at Chipotle, you know what I mean? What the hell is stripples? What is stripples? You know what stripples are? No? Comment down below if you know what stripples are. Okay, vegan breakfast burrito taste test. Here we go. Oftentimes I feel like humans have peaked and then I try vegan food. You know what I mean? I feel like they're like the most creative species. I just feel like my mouth got dominated by sausage and it's not real sausage. Most people here follow a biblical diet as a third of the 22,000 residents are Seventh-day Adventists where their faith instructs them to treat their bodies as temples. Little or no meat and fish, notice they didn't say donuts, no smoking or alcohol, plenty of exercise and a sense of purpose helping them live as much as a decade longer than the rest of us. They got a few verses of the Bible here. The parable of the Good Samaritan. And look at the guy in the middle. He's like looking there, he's kind of like, damn, what just happened? What did just happen? I have no idea. Breakfast was like a teaser trailer to a movie. Very hungry still, but it was super good. Starting to enjoy the tea, I'm not gonna lie. But we are heading a couple hundred meters down the road to the Loma Linda Market to see what the locals get for groceries. It's such a quiet town. Like, it seems like there's like literally nothing going on here. This is the weirdest grocery store I've ever been in in my life. There's no meat section in this grocery store. I think I'm the closest thing to the meat section. Excuse me, sir. Do you guys, sell, do you guys have any meat here? Real meat? Yeah. Not here. Not here? It's vegetarian. Oh, it's vegetarian? It's vegan and vegetarian. Oh, okay. Oh, wow. I'm sorry. Oh, no problem. We try to keep you guys alive longer. Oh, you try? Oh. Yeah, we try. Yeah. We try Are you that. vegan or vegetarian? I'm Mexican. No. 70 years old. I've been eating crap for 70 years. I'm still alive. Yeah. You know? That's what I feel too. Yeah. Me all the way. Me. Yeah. You just gotta, you know, don't worry about nothing. Don't stress. Yeah. Are you still friends? Absolutely. All right. Give it a dab. Yeah, yeah. Dab it up. Real, there you go. Brother. Yeah. What the hell is this? It looks like it's like the base layer of like my hamster cage. Look at this. Sausage and taco beef. What is it? Dude, I feel like I'm at PetSmart. Let's see what the snack section's like. I'm starting to think that veganism is like a cult. Wow, it's a thousand calories in this thing. 
The interesting thing about Loma Linda is how it's just across the freeway from one of America's fast food havens, San Bernardino, home of the world's first ever McDonald's. Many of San Bernardino's residents find themselves in food deserts where access to healthy, fresh food is limited. Meanwhile, back in Loma Linda, it's fast food that's scarce, with fully stocked grocery stores throughout the community. This is the closest, this is the protein section. You got tofu, plant-based cheese, and we got the tofurkey, all that stuff. I feel like they should at least sell like protein or like meat scented candles to kind of like ease your transition if you're gonna move here. Oh, picture of me. Yeah. What's your name? Regina. Regina? Mm -hmm. Are you a vegan or vegetarian? Vegetarian. You're vegetarian? And how long have you been vegetarian for? Most of my life. Most of your life? Yeah. And do you feel a lot better being vegetarian? I do. Okay. What's, the, what's your healthiest habit? I do walk and I do breathing exercise also. And oh, I love that. Lately, I learned at this age and I'm practicing and I feel very good. The okay. air, the oxygen, the oxygen in the body. Yeah. Heals the body. Uh -huh. Oh, you're so cute. Yeah. <laughs> Thank you. Can I give you a hug? Yeah. yeah. I'm glad it's not COVID. Nice Thank, to meet you. You. Thank, Thank you. Thank you for the picture. Absolutely. Yes. Plant-based jerky teriyaki flavor. Taste test. It smells pretty decent. That's fire. Oh my god. Usually when I have like real beef jerky, I feel kind of disgusted with myself because it seems like so processed. This is like processed, but it's like with morals. I will say the driving here is quite slow. Live fast, die young. Definitely not the motto. We've been trying to find like some sort of like a main strip with like restaurants, stores, like with foot traffic. There's literally nothing here. The, the entire place is like the hospital, which kind of makes sense. Cause think about the city with like the most jacked people in the world and the entire city is just an outdoor gym. We just typed in church on Google and look at all these churches in my proximity. I feel like if you, if you type church, like in LA, like an hour away, it'd like come up as like church's chicken. It'd be like auto correct you to church's chicken. Look at all these churches. Oh my God. I think that we've seen more churches than people. And I'm being serious. But we're at the Loma Linda Romanian Seventh-day Adventist Church, which is quite nice. I don't know why it's blocked off though. Huh. Seventh-day Adventists have something called Sabbath, which is a 24 hour period where you just forget about all the stresses in life and you focus on your friends, family, nature, and God. Adventists have claimed that this has helped de-stress them. It's helps them bond more with their community and just gets them outside to exercise a lot more. And one of the main killers in life is stress. So taking a day to yourself to kind of just unwind and forget about everything going on and focus on what matters, I think that can add years to your life. So it's really cool that they do something like this. We are in this beautiful park right now. It's absolutely gorgeous. So in Loma Linda, there are tons of trails like this and parks. Adventists say you don't need to be a marathon runner to increase your life expectancy. Just doing some regular low intensity exercise like walking can drastically decrease your chances of getting diseases, certain types of cancers. So we're on a walk right now, like my girl Regina. And I also heard they have wild donkeys here. So we're on the hunt for some ass. Along with frequent trail walks, you will see residents strength training twice a week and doing aerobic exercises like swimming or a fan favorite pickleball up to three times a week, like 84-year-old Loida. See, longevity is exercise and community. If you're depressed, you're not going to live very long. These people, even when they come for the first time, they become friends. That uh, gives you longevity, something to live for. This is definitely an advanced trail, holy shit. We brought these for the donkey. I know they like carrots, but I mean, come on. They gotta be, they're not, I mean, I don't know what I'm saying. My heart rate's at 110 and it's climbing. Look at this, look how steep this thing is. You guys cannot underestimate walking. Oh, 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 oh. Did you guys see any donkeys up there? Donkeys, I didn't see. Not yet, oh, okay, thanks. They're hiding from us, because they know it's the closest thing to protein that I have here in Loma Linda. You can tell Regina was here. She left her mark. You okay? Yeah. Holy oh, <laughs> There's like a herd of them. Are donkeys lethal? I have no idea. 
They're freaking cute though. Wow. I'd invite them in my swamp, that's for sure. Why are they coming this close, dude? Yo, yo, I don't know. <laughs> you get in the car? Yo, what the f***, bro? Get in the car, get in the car. Yeah, yeah, let's get in the car. Oh, oh shit. Yo, what is going on? Okay, drive. drive. <laughs> How's it going, man? Wow, it looks super fresh. Thank you. Thank you. Happy oh, day. Oh. Look at this fresh fruit on the side of the road. Usually like, you get like hot dogs and like cotton candy or like, ch like kettle chips or something, but look at that, man. Oh. Mm. I'm still kind of shook from those donkeys, not gonna lie. <laughs> Looks like a pretty standard McDonald's, doesn't it? However, this McDonald's has caused a lot of problems. When McDonald's came to Loma Linda, the city went under red alert. Citizens urging city council not to approve its opening. It was humans versus Ronald. They were calling this place a toxic wasteland. The town city council meeting was packed when the issue came up. You would have thought a nuclear waste dump was moving in. Are we killing our children? The clash of two American heavyweights, faith and fast food. McDonald's, like, it divides families, like, with the typical things like McNugget sauce debates or, like, quadruple bypasses. But to divide the city is pretty crazy. Another crazy thing is this has 3.6 stars on Google, a lot higher than I expected. <laughs> I guess older people don't know how to, you know, really trash Google reviews. You know, they're not very technologically great. <laughs> I feel like a trader just walking in right now. Problem. We went in and got kicked out instantaneously. It's because they're embarrassed. Totally embarrassed. Excuse me, sir. What's up, bro? What would you want to do on your 100th birthday? Oh my God. I never even thought. My brain can't even, uh, I can't, I'm 77 right now. And I'm ready to make my will out to make sure that, you know, blah, blah, blah. Because mm -hmm. I'm going to kick the bucket pretty soon. Hey. Just don't eat McDonald's. <laughs> yeah. Yeah. Less than 300 feet away from the McDonald's we were just hating on, there's a new restaurant in town thriving that the locals love. And of course, it's vegan. I'm here with the owner, Aldridge. Thanks Hello. for letting me come in. How are you? So, vegan, Asian, vegan food? Vegan Asian food, correct. Awesome. Yeah. First dish for you guys. Crispy oh. oyster mushroom. Got the shows on wontons. Got the orange chicken. Got the vegetable chow mein with the vegan poached egg. A vegan poached egg? Vegan poached egg, yeah. Is there a yolk in there? There is, yeah. But what's the yolk made out of? Chickpea, chickpea protein. Wow, I didn't even know that's even possible. Enjoy. It even has the egg jiggle. It does. <laughs> Look at the jiggle. Gotta get a video of yeah. cutting it open. <laughs> oh my God. I got dessert coming for you too, okay? So. Okay. After. Thank you. <laughs> Enjoy. Oh my God. Well, do you know what? This feels like a game of Super Smash Bros. These are all characters going up against my stomach, but I'm still gonna win. Those are magic mushrooms, dude. So although there's a lot of food in front of me, Typically, people in blue zones have their smallest meal at the end of the day. They eat until they're 80% full. So the breakfast is the biggest meal of the day. Lunch is medium size. Dinner is pretty small because it promotes better sleep and a healthier BMI. Whereas I'm the opposite. I like to go to bed feeling like a beached whale until the tide comes and gets me the next morning. Get in my tummy. Get in my tummy. That sauce on there will make you want to start taking risks. I can put that on anything and not go in my mouth. Wow. Vegan yolk porn. That is chickpea, there's no way. That is epic. So you guys don't know how to use chopsticks. Oh, oh shit. It tastes like a chicken laid that egg. You know what's crazy? I feel like vegan food just looks so innocent. Like this doesn't look that bad, right? but it's probably at a thousand calorie nuke. They brought us dessert early, some sort of a cheesecake. It feels like a real cheesecake. 
It receives my fork like a real cheesecake. And it tastes like a real cheesecake. Oh my God, that's good. With vegan food, you know, you're doing things good for the plants, for the animals, but then you start to miss things like flavor and friends. But when you have stuff like this, I feel like I'm not really missing out. Everything today, from like the start to now, a lot to do with diet, is it really matters what you put in your body. Making the right choices, they exercise moderately, nothing crazy, they have a strong sense of community and they're not so stressed like the rest of the world. So there's a lot of things that we all can learn from Loma Linda. If you guys enjoyed the video, make sure to drop it a like, subscribe to the channel if you're new, and I'll see you guys in the next one.